Hi, it's uh, Mark Waltman here again, continuing our dialogue about uh, pavement uh, maintenance, uh, uh, primarily asphaltic uh, bituminous concrete pavement, uh, as it's known. The um, uh, the scenario uh, in which you can no longer do uh, crack filling or seal coating repairs is when the pavement has uh, undergone so much damage that it's uh, um, alligator cracked. It's uh, where the cracking and da damage is so pervasive that uh, there's uh, small uh, sections of pavement about the size of your fist. Um, uh, you tend to see a lot of that damage uh, and wheel rutting near uh, intersections and stop signs. Uh, when that level of damage occurs or when there's uh, substantial amounts of uh, potholes uh, in the pavement, you're left really to uh, do a grind and overlay uh, type repair, which is um, uh, a, a process whereby uh, contractors will come in and strip off the top inch and a half or two inches of the pavement using a grinding machine and uh, recycle uh, that material back to the asphalt plant for uh, reuse. And then uh, they'll make um, uh, what are called undercutting repairs to the pavement in areas that are substantially or severely uh, distressed uh, where, for example, potholes have formed and the sub-base material is no longer stable. They have to uh, excavate those areas on a local basis uh, down to sound uh, uh, material and uh, recompact that before they can uh, repave the surface. As a general rule, the grind and overlay will take off the top inch to inch and a half of material and the contractor will, will repave that uh, to uh, make sure that you get positive drainage from the crown of the roadway into the uh, adjacent gutters or uh, uh, shoulders. On uh, residential driveways, the typical thickness is, uh, is between two and a half and three inches. Most roadway uh, pavement is anywhere from four to six inches thick, depending upon uh, the uh, tolerable wheel loads uh, on the roadway and uh, local municipalities will have specific requirements uh, uh, for that as well as uh, uh, the engineers who provide consulting services will guide uh, uh, the managers and the owners on how best to uh, replace the pavement and uh, have good serviceability uh, for years to come. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit more about uh, the uh, grind and overlay process uh, for pavement surfaces.